Hello, my name is Sheridan Coldstream and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if this is your first time then a very very warm welcome to you. The purpose of this channel is to help people feel better more of the time and sometimes that means throwing a different perspective on life so that we can all feel happier and more confident and sometimes that might include dealing with mental health issues and things that hold us back so much in life. And today's video is all about the return to normality. And by that, I mean the return to normality or new normal after a pandemic. Here we are in the UK after over a year of restrictions. And we're being told now that restrictions are being lifted and we can go and have a drink in the garden with our friends and things are due to open up further in the next few weeks. And in some ways, this is very exciting. Hey, we can return to normal again. Wow, that's so cool. And yet, we're looking at normality as though it's kind of heaven or some kind of ideal, whereas all we're actually talking about is returning to a so-called normal life. And I think this is creating, other than the, the positives and the excitement, is actually creating a certain amount of anxiety. And one of the things it's creating is a kind of worry that we won't be able to get back the energy we had before. So the little bit of socialising that some of us have already done is proving far more tiring than it did before. Now I'm confident we can all get that back and that's just a question of forming new habits and doing a bit more socialising and getting our stamina back so we can get back out there and enjoy ourselves more often. But I worry about older people, people, people perhaps in their 80s or 90s who've, like all of us, they've reduced their life down to a much uh, slower uh, and spaced out thing. And whereas we may all bounce back, the hope is that they will be able to do the same and that they won't somehow have aged more than normal during this last year and therefore find it harder to find that energy to do things and still find joy in life. I think there's a fear for many of us that we'll be running around like mad things, chasing our tails, trying to please too many people too much of the time. And that in itself, of course, is a worrying thought that we didn't really have to do during the lockdown. I think for many, their work was reduced during this last year. And the idea of going back to full time work with more responsibility and of course, more stress that goes with that is, is a worrying factor, combined with, of course, having the energy to actually sustain and maintain that when for a year or so we haven't had to do that. I think something that no one had to worry about during lockdowns was FOMO or the fear of missing out. Because one thing COVID-19 was, was an equaliser. We were all locked down with restrictions and people we couldn't see and friends we couldn't meet and parties we couldn't, couldn't go to. So in some ways there was less to be jealous of or envious about. Whereas as we come out of lockdown and friendship groups reform and parties start to happen again, there is a fear, I think for some, that they're gonna, if you like, fall into kind of insignificance again and feel like their friends don't really value them. And this is a, an area that perhaps applies more to younger people. But I don't think we should count out us older folk too. I think we're all prone to feeling uh, that we might be missing out on something. So what can we take that's positive from last year going forward? I think one of the most obvious things that springs to mind for me is we've all learned to be more adaptable. And perhaps, well, there are lots and lots of examples of this, but perhaps the most obvious one that springs to mind for me is how we've all learned to embrace technology. And I, as a vocal and singing and confidence coach, I'm used to people coming into this room, which is my studio, and teaching them one-to-one, face-to-face, how to speak, how to sing, how to feel better. And there's a bit of mental health stuff thrown in as well. And I would have never thought for a minute that I could run this business online purely using Zoom, FaceTime, etc, etc, and forming a communication. And not only has this been a backup plan for me, but it's now something that going into the future, I can see will carry on. So I, I would have never thought that was possible. And I don't know what the exact statistics are, but I'm told that we have gained at least five years in our developing of abilities in all things IT and computer related. So because we've all had to jump online and learn to do things we'd never done before in many cases, we've advanced ourselves by at least five years further 
than we would if we hadn't had a pandemic. I think something else we've learned is that not that many things matter very much. I think one of the things that matters most is our friends and our family and perhaps the appreciation of small things. I think we've all gone for more walks, more lovely walks in the country and you appreciate things like a beautiful clear sky, a fantastic handsome tree or maybe even just a clod of earth or a small flower and we have time to notice and appreciate these things and realise that maybe these things offer us more real value, especially our relationships with the, the people we love, than the acquisition of wealth, the desire for promotion, the need to feel important, famous or successful, which are things that I think we can get really caught in a kind of trap of wanting to feel super significant because that gives us an adrenaline rush, a rush of dopamine, which is that feel that feel good thing that runs through us. And actually, we can run our lives like this, spinning around like mad things, uh, sometimes achieving those things, but they're not making us feel the way we would actually choose to feel. So again, perhaps we're talking about a more desirable state. I think the buzzword these days is mindfulness, which I think in its simplest state just means the ability to stop, breathe, notice, focus, breathe, and appreciate. And we've all had more time to do that. Having said all that, we do want to look forward to the future. There is this thing called balance, that ever so elusive state where we get everything just aligned properly. Really hard to achieve, as I say, probably actually elusive. But I look forward to a day when I can go up to London and I can wander the bustling streets of Regent Street and Oxford Street and shop and then go to Covent Garden and grab a coffee from somewhere and sit and watch a juggler or a street musician before piling into a crowded bar. Gosh, I look forward to a crowded bar and buying a, a beer, a glass of wine or a cocktail before going to see a show in the West End, maybe a musical or a really good play. Then after that, ending up in Chinatown for a slap up Chinese without worrying about how close I am to other people, without having to wear a mask the whole time. And I really, really look forward to these things. So it is a question of balance. But I hope going forwards, we can retain a sense of balance, of the important things in life, that we don't have to rush around like mad things trying to please everybody and keep that one going forever, because it's not helpful to our mental states. And there are other things that are far more important. There are some things I'm pretty confident about. I think as, as we come out of lockdown, as we return to normality, I think the economy will probably bounce back at a record speed. I'm no authority, but I've read articles that kind of back this up. The, the economy was shut down artificially, if you like, by the initial lockdowns, and it's going to be opened equally suddenly. So a little like the roaring 20s, which were after the First World War, I think we're going to see a roaring few years now of flamboyance and excitement and, as I say, pent up creative energy dying to go somewhere. And I think that's that's the most exciting thing to look forward to. But let us keep in our minds that it's important sometimes just to be still, just to notice, appreciate our friends, appreciate those we love and carry on being kinder to each other in a way that I really think we have been during the last year. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you do, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel. And I will see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.